Hey, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today it's Peerless Double Oak Rye. Stick around. Hey, if you're new here, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It's going to help us out a lot. We really appreciate it. So, Peerless Double Oak Rye. So Peerless has always been one of my favorite distilleries. I've had the luxury of being able to uh, tour their facilities and do the bourbon tour there. It's fantastic, great story. Uh, if you don't know much about them, then you should go check them out. In another video, which I'll put right there, I reviewed Peerless Double Oak Bourbon. It was fantastic, love it. So I'm really excited to try this one and thanks to Sleepy Steve for giving me this bottle. Well, when I say give, I mean he let me borrow it. This one is non-chill filtered, strictly sweet mash, and uh, there's no water added at all. I'm really excited to try this one. It's a no-age statement, so let's get into it. So as you'll see here in the glass, a uh, very, very dark color. I think that's really impressive. It means that the uh, the oak barrels have really influenced the color. That double oak, I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. The uh, viscosity, let's see what kind of legs we got. As you can see there, there's some teardrops. That's running down real slow. That means this uh, is oily and viscous. Great looking whiskey. Let's go ahead and give it a nose and taste it. This one's so nice looking. I mean, it's just dark. It has that rich looking flavor. And again, let's go back to those legs. I don't know if you can see that on the camera right there, but it's got a lot going on. Let's go to the nose. Oh man, that's something else. I gotta give it to Peerless. Both of their double oak, you know, the rye and uh, the bourbon. I mean, the nose is incredible. Oh man, chocolate, first of all, uh, like uh, marshmallow and chocolate, graham cracker, kind of like a s'more really over a campfire. I mean, it's got a little bit of the smoke, but the smoke is just slight. I mean, it's very, very faint. Mmm. Uh, vanilla, uh, like vanilla ice cream, homemade ice cream. Maybe a little bit of cinnamon mixed in there. You get some herbal notes for sure, maybe some basil. Let's go ahead and go to the palate and give this a try. <laughs> I'm stoked. Mm. At a little over 54 proof, this does give you the Kentucky hug, but not in a bad way. I mean, this is legit. It doesn't burn. It's just very warming, soothing, comforting. And the mouthfeel on this, it's, it's viscous, it's oily. Um, I would say the finish is medium. It's not real long, but uh, it's very pronounced. So it kind of makes up for it in that regard. Mm. My gosh. Yeah, graham crackers, uh, chocolate, toasted marshmallows, vanilla ice cream, some herbal flavors in there. I wanna say basil, I think that's what I'm getting. So the nose is a little stronger than what the flavor is and what the palate is. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing or a good thing, it's just kinda of what it is in my opinion. This is a phenomenal rye. I've probably said it, I don't know, 10 times on this channel that I'm not a rye fan. Uh, necessarily, but uh, it, you know, I keep on running into these ryes that are delicious, and this is probably the best rye I've ever had. So, suggested retail on this one is about $120. It's a little steep. Um, I try to keep my bourbons about half that, um, but it, this one is special for sure. Um, so, you know, on this channel, we like to go ahead and rank these by availability, taste, and value. So, let's get into it. Availability, um, I've seen this in just about every other liquor store that I've been in, in my market, which is Central Arkansas. So uh, availability, you know, I mean, that, that's obviously a plus. Uh, taste, I mean, it's out of this world. I think this is the best rye that I've ever had. Uh, value at 120 bucks, <clears throat> once in a while. I might go buy this bottle once a year. Um, so you take that for what it's worth, I mean, you know, in terms of value, do I think it's worth 120? Yeah, I, I think it is. I think it is, but I, you know, I just don't like to pay that for for whiskey these days. I just, you know, I see some prices coming down. I see the secondary uh, deal going on where there's, you know, some some decline in the market. So, um, yeah, you know, 
like I said, once a year I'd go buy this. So definitely worth your time, definitely worth giving it a try. If you, even better, if you have a buddy that has a bottle, thanks Steven, uh, then you ought to get a, a sample of it and make your own decision. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with an 8.5 on this one. It's extremely, extremely solid. The only reason I didn't go nine is because of the price. It's something that I just buy once a year, but you know, you got to keep in mind, it's kind of a special whiskey. So there you have it. Hey, if you don't mind, go ahead and like, subscribe and smash that bell. And uh, we'll come at you with some more whiskey content and obviously barbecue content. If you like those two things, then you're in the right place. I'm Justin with Cask and Q. We'll see you next time.